What's up guys, Holly in here for OG Fitness. And in this video, I wanna talk about the two best martial arts for self-defense if you need to be proficient fast, okay? So yeah, I'm, I'm not wearing a shirt because I just got back from uh, doing jogging with my dog, right? And uh, so I started off uh, last week, right? Because of the quarantine, so I jog at night so there's nobody. You know, just me and my dog and uh, I started doing steady state to ease back into it to build back up my cardio and then today well you know boom like uh, steady state you know it's uh, it's getting too easy and it's getting boring right so boom hit cardio so anyways I'm, I'm quite happy about that but to get back to the subject because I was reading comments in the other video and uh, one of the subscribers gave me an idea like he said uh, was it boxing and judo you know for for self-defense right and uh, I agree with that now <clears throat> what I want to add on uh, and want to talk to you guys about is that well if you for example want um, to are you guys hearing that because uh, well the wife is you know blow drying her hair so I'll I'll speak a little bit louder I'll come closer to the mirror sorry okay so here's the thing with judo the problem is that well first of all you need a gi uh, you need mats well wrestling too so never mind that but what i mean is that judo takes a long time to master it takes a lot of practice right so like if you're starting off let's say you want to um and this is this is for somebody who because wrestling is really hard on the body right it's also considered a young man sport so let's say your knees are okay your back is okay you're not too busted up right and uh maybe because you're young or you, you know you were lucky enough not to to hurt yourself too much, uh, you know, growing up and, and doing sports and all that. Okay, so wrestling, you could learn wrestling and be relatively efficient in like three months, six months, approximately, maybe even faster, depends on, on your skill level, how fast you learn, everybody learns at different rates, you know, some people are very uh, naturally athletic, you know, because uh, they just played a lot of sports, variety of sports, and they played a lot outside while they were young, and it's just the, the brain chemistry thing and everything, you know? So they're very good at motor learning, right? And they're very visual. They could just do stuff, you know, you showed them once. And anyways, that aside, it's easier to learn how to do a double leg than it is to do, for example, a Osoro Gary or a Ippon Soinage or, you know, any of the moves in Judo. Judo is really like detailed and nuanced, man. I mean, there's so much that goes into it, right? There's the gripping, right? First of all, you have to get the Kumikata, you have to pull, you have to do kuzushi, which means you have to, uh, you know, get the guy off balance. And then you got to throw. So you, not only do you have your footwork that's involved, but your hands too and your hips. So, I mean, and, you know, so it's, it takes a while, man, to really be able to, to, um, to be efficient at it, you know. Um, and it varies to different degrees depending on, on uh, who it is and your, your athletic ability and all that, right. So it takes a lot of time. Whereas if you try, if you learn how to... Um, do a double leg or a single leg, I mean, it's relatively easy compared to that. You know, it's 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 kind of like judo is very detailed, finessed. Um, what's the word I'm looking for? Very um, uh, not, not high class. That's not the word. What I'm, very refined, right? As opposed to wrestling which is there's a lot of nuances but and it's super technical and all that but it's a little bit more um brutal barbaric I'm, there's a word for it there's a word i'm looking for but I, I just have it on the tip of my tongue but uh it's yeah maybe brutish but you guys get what i mean it's i grab the leg and just you know and of course you can practice that a little bit and you can even if you you don't get it perfect I mean, after about three months of practice, six months of practice, man, you, you, you'll be able to take guys down, right? If you have a good coach and you train consistently. And then after that, boxing. Now, why didn't I say kickboxing or anything like that? Well, because it's much easier to learn how to throw your hands, right? Than it is to learn how to kick, right? I'm not saying that you should learn how to kick. I'm just saying that, let's say you had, um, okay, let's say you're a student, right? And you've been bullied at school. And it's summertime now. You don't have school. So summer's about, uh, you know, three months, let's say, two months. And you need to learn some, some, some shit quick. Quick. And you're like, man, I, I, 
I, I, I don't want to be bullied again, man. I want to, I want to learn a martial art, right? I want to learn something to defend myself. So my suggestion would be boxing, right? And wrestling. You have those two, holy shit. You're going to, you're going to take that bully for a ride. Of course, it depends on the bully, right? I mean, if he trains too, then he, that's, you know, but let's say just some dude that's bigger than you and he's an ass or whatnot, or if you just want to be, you know, like, um, you want to be proficient fast for whatever reason, maybe. So if you're a student who needs to uh, take care of business, you know, because you're being bullied, so you shit, you got to learn something. You got two months, you know, two, three months. Yeah, boxing and wrestling, right? Those would be my pick. Like if I had a son, uh or a daughter right and uh, i wanted them to like right out of the gate i wanted them to like kick some be able to kick some ass it would be those two things not to say i wouldn't put them in judo because i probably would put them in in judo like when they're really young jujitsu well, end up doing everything <laughs> yeah but uh definitely definitely uh boxing and wrestling right boxing once again much easier to learn faster you know if you have a good coach and all that man you can get pretty proficient fast they're sparring and it's always wrestling any sport where they're sparring and you can go all out now you have to be a little bit more careful with boxing because you don't want to spend your time getting concussed you know because you know that's that's just fucking retarded right but if you have a good place a good coach that's teaching you well that's progressing you properly you know uh, showing you all the techniques, you know, doing a lot of pad work and after that sparring, but, you know, putting you in there with people who could like hold back their punches and of course teaching you properly, letting you go all out, but not, uh, not, you know, like, uh, you going all out, but them not going all out because somebody who's high level, they're able to like take your shit and, you know, just play with you anyway. Right. And, uh, in wrestling, well, you can go all out too. And this is a theory. This is something that this is the genius of Kano, uh, Kano. Not sure how you pronounce it. I think it's Kano, right? Jigoro Kano, the founder of judo. Because what he did was that he took Japanese jiu-jitsu, right? Because Japanese jiu-jitsu is essentially the martial art of the samurai. So he took that shit, right? And then he took out all the elements that were dangerous, right? That you couldn't practice 100%. You can't wrist lock somebody and just, ah, you know, because then you'd have no more, uh, you'd have no, no more partners. So... What it is that he took out all the dangerous elements and then he created judo, like a system, you know, where uh, maximum effort, uh, maximum effectiveness, minimum effort, you know, and all about using the opponent's strength and all that. And of course, uh, later on, well, when the thing became uh, Olympic sport, I mean, guys were using a lot of strength, you know, but anyways, but the strength was to back up their technique, right? So all that to say that if, there, if you practice a martial art where you could practice 100%, you know, where you could actually, in, in a safe environment, without getting hurt, right? You could progress so fast, it's crazy. That's why people, if you train like, let's say for example, BJJ, right? And uh, you do that for about three months, six months, man, like you can, you can take a bigger opponent who doesn't know anything on the ground and essentially like rape his ass, you know, and, and treat him like a bitch. Like that's how, that's how bad it is. You, you don't realize it until the beginner comes in and then you, you kick his ass, you know? Where in judo, it takes a lot more time like you could be doing that for three months, six months, man, and somebody walks in, but you know they're scrappy and they're athletic and they're strong. You're gonna, they get a, you know, and that happened to me like a couple of times uh, in the past four or five years, you know, where like man, I'd run into guys, man, they had like a, they were boxers, right, but they were super strong and athletic, and you know they they played fight a lot when they were kids or whatnot, and man, they it took me for a ride, and I was uh, at that time I was like a blue belt or something like that. So I mean. That's all, all that to say that judo takes time, right? And so does like uh, other other things like kickboxing and stuff like that. Whereas, you know, boxing, it's just your hands, man. Bam, 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 bam. You have a good coach, you do that three times a week, right? Then you go wrestling three times a week. Man, in two, three months, man, you can take care of business, you know? Like, of course, once again, it depends on who you're fighting, right? Like if you're fighting a dude that has like a big background and whatever, it's going to be tough. It's going to be tough, right? So I'm not saying that I'm not promoting fighting at all, but I'm just saying if I, if I, if I had somebody who came to me and said, man, Hong, you know, I, I, fuck, uh, I need to learn how to fight. I need to, I, I want to learn how to defend myself, I'm, you know, for my confidence, for my safety and, you know, and all that, uh, blah, blah, blah. And I want to get it done as quick as possible. You know, how long is it going to take me? What should I do? I would tell them, listen, man, 
boxing, wrestling. Just focus on those two things for, um, you know, three months, six months, you know, do, do those two things, boxing twice a week, you know, and then wrestling twice a week. And you're, you're good, man. After that, you know, you learn uh, how to take down, right? And uh, you learn how to wrestle. So you can like essentially suplex some, somebody. But be, care- be very careful with that. Because if you suplex a motherfucker and you break his goddamn neck, well, guess what? You might end up in fucking jail, right? So you got to be careful. But at least you're able to do a double leg, double leg takedown, you know, a single leg takedown. And, you know, you, you, you're, not, um, uh, you're not completely lost when you end up clinching right and yeah boxing skills so maybe you don't even need to take the guy down because maybe you'll knock him out before right so definitely those are the two things for self-defense quick 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 uh most bang for your buck in a short period of time now that being said uh judo definitely i have a you know a preference for but i mean you know if i had more like you have to focus right like if you want to be high level in something, I don't think that you can you can dabble too much unless your thing is MMA. Then you can dabble a little bit more, but then you might not want to do judo because there's no gi. But definitely, um, me, I'm I'm looking to be high level in judo and to win competitions, world title, and all that. So that's why my main focus is judo, right? But I mean, oh, wrestling! I love wrestling, man. Too, you know, it's so cool, it's so fun. I still have a lot to learn there, right? Like I got some basic. I got my fundamentals are pretty strong. Actually, no, not really. But they're, they're, they're there. My basics are strong. Uh, I still definitely would like to learn more and practice more. But, you know, it's a question of um, setting priorities, goals, and also, like, uh, managing um, recovery and all that for me. So that's why, you know, I just chose judo. Mind you, not to say that I wouldn't, you know, go do a little bit of boxing here and there because sometimes your, my body needs a break. And boxing is, like gives me a big break, you know, it's for like for my knees, for this, for that. So, you know, I just have to find a time. That's it. But I would definitely incorporate some boxing into my schedule as soon as uh, I'm able to free up some time. And yeah, definitely. Because, you know, punching a guy, it's it's an art, man. It's, a, it's, it's called the sweet science for a reason, right? So boxing and wrestling. If you want it, if you need to get proficient fast, you need to learn how to fight fast. Those are your two best bets, man, because you could spar at 100% more or less, you know. Uh, even if you don't go 100%, but let's say you can go uh, 80%, it's better than just doing, like, uh, some craziness where all you're doing is practicing movements, you know. Like, that's not going to help you at all. That's just, like, false confidence that's going to give you false sense of security, and then you're going to be in for a ride when, uh, when shit really goes down. So that's it for this video, guys. Um, like the video. Uh, subscribe of course share it and of course um, oh uh, click on the notification bell comment down below what do you think you agree do you not agree and uh, yeah so we could generate some more discussions on martial arts and all and uh, I'll see you guys in the next one thank you very much peace